We are here in the Ram Truck Workshop at the Rebuilding Exchange. This is Alex Enerson. He is a salvage expert here at the Rebuilding Exchange. Alex, what do we got here? So today we're going to turn this old structural timber into this kind of nifty little end table yeah, or side cool. table. So we have an old 8x6. It's structural timber. It's uh, actually eastern white pine, which is a really great wood for building and shaping. I think that this stuff was actually salvaged from the deconstruction of a church. Really? Uh, on Kimball Avenue so in Chicago. So it's spiritual too. You're gonna Absolutely. Get, you're going to bring in Lots a little spirit. spiritual it's feeling spirit. into your house. Yeah, I think it's definitely going to take some divine intervention to turn this old beam into a piece of furniture. But Alex knows his stuff, so I'm following his lead. And materials like this are what the rebuilding exchange is all about. Beams and old growth wood just waiting for someone to find a creative new use for it. To make this transformation, we'll need a steel brush, a soft bristled brush, a reciprocating saw, an orbital sander, a drill, and some three inch drywall screws. Since we're using power tools, you'll also want to bust out that safety gear. All right, so the first thing we have to do is cut this beam into unequal lengths. Okay. I think we're gonna make the first one the large one. Let's do it right about 22. I think we're pretty much ready to cut. Let's get the saws all up. I think I'm gonna let you take the first cut because it's really? on your side. Yeah. All right. You're, you're a pro now, right? <laughs> Not yet, but this is a pretty easy tool to use. Alex shows me how to keep it under control while I cut. There you go. Nice and hard. And then he finishes it off for me. Boom. This is the first part of your table. So now we have three more of these cuts, right? Yep. Alrighty. Let's do it. We tag team the rest of these cuts, making four uneven pieces that eventually will screw together. But first up, something Alex likes to call stock prep. Really, we just want to get the dirt off. You want it to look vintage? Yeah, type of all we want to do is kind of get it clean. Get it clean enough to finish and look good in the living room. Alex and I safety gear up and start with a light once over with a steel brush. Then we go a little bit harder with a soft brush and stop right there. You know, with a project like this, it's really kind of up to you how far you want to go in cleaning it up. We're trying to kind of strike a middle ground. Okay. Already, just a couple minutes of work, it's looking way better. Okay. You can start to see the, the shine of the wood in there again. The next step is to work on the end grain with an orbital sander. And this surface we do want to work hard on. Remember this is a table and it's made of four of these pieces. Yeah. They have to be flat enough to stand up, right? These are looking pretty flat. Again, most of your work's done at 80 grit, okay. but since it is going to be furniture, we should sand it up at 120 and at 220. The higher grit passes can be quicker. We sand the end grain of all four pieces with an 80, 120, and 220 grit, getting them looking smooth and flat. That's enough sanding for me for a while. <laughs> uh, so our four pieces are prepped and beautiful. Okay. We could kind of dust them off a little bit. Now's the fun part. We have to <laughs> assemble this into some sort of table, some, right? Some, something resembling S furniture, yeah. yes. You kind of got to mess around with it to kind of figure out where you want to be. Okay. But, I mean, I kind of like the effect where your knockouts are showing. They're kind of on the outside, like that. Yeah, I think that'll happen. Once we've got our layout where we want it, we fasten it together. Wherever you can, Alex tries to hide the pilot holes by screwing into the knockouts. You can put as many screws as you want in this thing, but I think we're gonna stick to basically two per side, kind of zipper it up a little bit. I just learned something new, thank you. It's a creative project, so just kind of play with it until it feels right, it looks good. Again, there's no plan for creative custom furniture, but seeing this table come together shows just how simple it is and how few rules you need to follow to create a custom piece yourself. In the end, all it has to do is hold your drink and look good, right? We spent about $75 on lumber and supplies in three hours in the Ram Truck Workshop. I'd mark this one as moderately difficult, but still think it's a great do-it-yourself project. 